Yo guys, Karen Headley here. Let's get some groceries. Everything changes. Uh, so tonight we're going to do a grocery shop for muscle building, right? Yeah. We're going to do it based off my new macros and the new food that I need to get. Because I've recently started um, training underneath a coach by the name of Alfie. So this guy is pretty legendary from what I hear. So uh, we'll see how he goes. He's pretty much doubled the amount of fats that I'm getting. Um, what, like thirded the amount of carbs I'm getting. And increased my protein intake as well. And this week so the first week that i'm on his program i'm not allowed to take any supplements so the idea is that we're going to improve gut health over this week he's also reduced my calorie intake by about 700 to 800 calories um so we probably will lose a bit of body fat so we're just over 15 weeks out we'll be 15 weeks out this saturday today's tuesday um i've just finished a chest workout so i've got this beautiful uh, meal um so yeah my macros just for this one meal is Almost a thousand calories. It's 946 calories because I've eaten bugger all day. Um, so it's 95 protein, 84 carbs, and 29 fat. The update in terms of um, my physique and everything like that. So basically, I'm 85.2 kgs. That's what I weighed in this morning. The idea is that I need to build my shoulders quite a lot for physique, right? So I need I need more of a tapered look. I don't quite have as much of a tapered look as I'd like. So I need to develop my shoulders. So Ideally, we want to build a little bit of muscle over the next couple of weeks before we really start trimming down. I'm not allowed any dairy or bread this week either, so that's tough, all right, because I love my pizza. And um, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, um, it's late at night, but I'm out of ingredients, which is not, it's 10 past nine at night now. Um, but I'm out of ingredients. Um, I don't have any food for the next morning, for tomorrow morning when I wake up. Um, so I'll be waking up early before I go to work, so I won't have much time. The idea is that I want to take you guys with me, show you what I'll be buying for this uh, next, last two weeks of bulk. Um, it'll be a clean box, so we'll be focusing on buying proper food. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I'll get, and um, take you with me. And it is freezing! That's why I'm wearing my bloody beanie! Holy heck! But yeah, that's all I got. Alright. Alright guys, so quickly start off the shop, so we're just getting some fruit and veg. I just got some bananas and some tomatoes. You can see there. I'm um, getting some white potatoes. The reason being is because they're high GI, right? Um, sweet potato will be low GI, or kuma as we call it in my country. Um, it'll be low GI, so that's more ideal for fat burning because it digests a lot slower. Um, it uses more energy to digest the food, right? Um, whereas potato uses less energy and sweet potato uses more energy to digest the food. I've already got a lot of uh, fruit and veg at home, so that's why I'm not getting too much at the moment. I'm more wanting, interested in the meat right now. Right now, we're where the goods are. Alright, so this is what we're after. So at the moment, I'm really needing to, because my protein's increased a lot, right? Um, and I'm not allowed supplements this week, so I'm getting a lot of meat. So we're gonna get to go for some extra lean beef mints. We wanna get the majority of our fats from the lean trick, um, lean meats, and we wanna get it from like omega-3 and omega-6 sources, so like oils and avocado and nuts. You know, people probably think I'm a weirdo vlogging in a supermarket, but it's all right. Gotta get this done right. You know, I think I'm a weirdo, but hey. So I'm getting turkey mints. Um, just to change up the minerals that I'm getting from the meat. Um, also, it's a lot less calorie dense. So if one day, if one day I'm really hungry and eat a lot of food, um, turkey mints is a good idea. More idea for um, more idea for fat burning. Reason being, was obviously going to get more volume for um, more for less calories. So which is ideal. Um, so you stay more full. So I'm just getting that to just to uh, add variety to my diet. Right, keep things. Interesting, and also I really like it when you have it with like peanut butter. Um, you know, make a sort of a satay meal out of it. It's really yum. As for chicken, we're going for the one and a half kg chicken. Can't have any pasta at the moment, right? So I'm not really allowed dairy, but I'm going to be cheeky about it and get some dairy-free chocolate. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we've got some dairy-free chocolate here. That looks bloody good, actually. Alright, so we're going for this no added sugar dairy free chocolate, it looks pretty good. So I've got this milk chocolate, gonna try that one, see how that goes. And then I've got a dark chocolate one here, um, probably just for a little extra sweetness. A little, bit, a little bit richer than the milk chocolate, so we'll see how that goes too. I'll uh, try them out and see how that goes. Alright, the other stuff I'd normally get, so I'd normally get like peanut butter, um, I've already got extra virgin coconut oil, so that's what I'd normally get. Grains at the moment, I'm eating um, basmati rice and white rice, preferably basmati because you can get more more rice for more volume of rice for the calories. Um, and also it's high GI as I explained earlier. Right, and as for milk, um, we're getting almond milk which I've already got home so I'm not going to pick up today. 
but um, normally go for the unsweetened almond milk, reason being dairy free as well. Now my usual go-to um, for, I know, an easy source of food when I'm at home is yogurt. So I usually go for the um, low fat yogurt, cheap percent fat yogurt. Um, normally strawberry vanilla, I love it. Um, usually have it with my wheat bix and oats, which is really yum. But we're going dairy free this week again. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how much freaking dairy I used to have. <laughs> That's alright. What we are looking for though, so this is the exception to the dairy um, that Alfie was telling me about, is organic butter. So we, we're allowed to use organic butter with our cooking. Um, we're not allowed bread either, so there's nothing for me to spread it on, but we're going to go for that organic butter. Wherever it is, I don't know where it is. I don't even know what freaking organic butter looks like. Alright, so I eventually found the organic butter, it took me about five minutes, but uh, this is the brand here, Mainland, um, from New Zealand, heck yeah. Um, reason why we want organic butter, it's got less preservatives, actually no preservatives. Um, it doesn't have any added salt, sugar or anything like that. Um, it just digests better. I need some protein as well. Um, I've got quite a bit of protein still to go for tonight, another 50 grams of protein, so we're going to get some bacon. I feel like some bacon, I think that could go down well. Um, some bacon next. Alright, so we're going for some shortcut bacon. Reason being is because there's a lot less fat in it. Um, we can get more protein out of each piece of bacon then all of the other bacon um, also the fat on bacon isn't ideal I'm gonna pick up some seafood a bit of salmon salmon's nice and high in fat love it looking for the cheapest option here so 200 grams five dollars fifty pretty good normally I'd eat a lot of oats as well normally I eat 100 grams of oats a day 120 grams even um, which is over a cup of oats and I love it but again the carbs are low Right, because my time's really limited, particularly um, for tonight. Um, it's already quite late, and I need to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So by the time I get home, I have less than seven hours of sleep, which will suck. Um, on top of that, before I go to sleep, I have to eat, because I haven't met my macros yet. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm just going to get pre-cooked chicken. I sincerely don't want anything. Too many preservatives, too many ingredients in it. Added ingredients, right? In moderation, it's okay, right? Right, so we've already got a heck load of seasoning at home, but I'm going to pick up some Mexican seasoning, but a bit of taco spice mix, which is what I used in the taco bowl that you saw earlier. Right, so getting that basmati rice and going to change things up, so getting a cashew and coconut mild simmer sauce. Um, I want to add some flavour to my chicken, right, because I'm eating so damn much of it. Alright, so this is my secret weapon with everything. Um, this amazing thing called stevia. You guys have probably seen this container before, um, like on ads or something like that. So that's stevia. Basically it is a natural extract of a plant. It's I think 10 times sweeter than sugar or something like that. So it's really sweet, you don't need much of it. Um, and obviously it's not sugar, so it's got no sugar in it. I like to go for this one, the baking one. So the reason why I'll go for this baking one is because per 100 grams of stevia, right, it's a lot cheaper. Um, even though it's $18 up front, right, it works out to be a lot cheaper over the long run. So that's my secret weapon for just about anything. I use it on my oats, I use it on my, if I have wheat books, right. Um, I use it in some of my cooking as well. Just adds a little bit of extra sweetness. So like if you're making a, say, curry or stir fry, you can add a little bit of stevia in there. Makes it very sweet. And one thing we're lacking at home, some freaking paper towels. So I'm gonna get some paper towels. And then I also need um, a battery for my mic because my mic arrived, thank goodness, finally. Um, my mic finally arrived for this camera. So I can add the, um, add the mic to it, which will be good. Um, and then one other thing we need. I know there's one other thing. I left home thinking there's three things, right? So there's batteries, there's uh, hotels, and oh, uh, okay, I forgot what that third thing was. Um, I'm gonna regret it because I'm gonna get home and remember it. But we're at the ice cream section, so I'm probably going to go for um, some sorbet just because it's dairy free, right? All right. So if I was if I wasn't trying to cut dairy, I'd normally go for these guys here, so skinny cows. The reason being is because it doesn't have a lot of bad fats in it like a lot of other ice cream does um, but since we're trying to cut dairy I'm getting some sorbet I was gonna get some frozen yogurt but kind of yogurt holy heck that's a lot of batteries so um, I can't remember which battery was meant to be used in my mic um, so I'm gonna fluke it 2123 I don't even know what that means changed my mind there were too many batteries there I give up couldn't find what battery I guess it was um, so I'll get it next time damn it got the extra virgin beautiful okay I've been literally walking around the grocery store for about 10 minutes trying to figure out what that other thing was that third thing and I remembered this bloody soap I'm gonna get some soap because we're out of soap Drifting. one other thing I almost forgot though is uh, I'm gonna get some frozen mixed berries um, we're making some smoothies with some almond milk so it's easy in the morning right if um, I'm struggling to get some calories in the morning I'll just have some eggs and a smoothie with some berries and some almond milk and maybe some peanut butter get some fats and some protein and I need my soap what the hell's the soap 
Look what I found. Very happy now. Right, so just finished the grocery shop. Now I gotta make the long trick home. It's only like 10 or 15 minutes walk. It's not too bad actually. It's just annoying having to carry all this stuff, right? <laughs> That's all good. Holy heck, that was awkward. Did you see some of those people's faces in the supermarket? I don't know if you guys did. I haven't actually looked over the footage yet. But some of those people were giving me some weird looks, right? I've like never seen anyone vlog on a camera in a supermarket before. I've never even seen someone vlog at all, ever. Like in my whole 21 and a half years or whatever, however old I am now. Um, I haven't seen anyone ever vlog, ever. Yeah, it's um, it was a whole new experience for me. I didn't like know what to expect. It was pretty scary actually every time I turned the camera on to record myself and talk to you guys. Um, I was always worried about what people were thinking, right? And I'm like, obviously that's not a good mindset, but um, you know, it's natural. Like, you worry about what people think around you, right? Um, especially if you're doing something crazy or something weird, like um, showing a camera to yourself and talking to it, um, or going grocery shopping, who does that, right? Well, I do. <laughs> I am a freaking idiot. I forgot some freaking eggs. All right, so uh, don't do my mistake. Get some freaking eggs and eat those buggers because they're bloody good for you. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to hit subscribe if you want any more content like this. And uh, follow me on my social media, Headley Fitness, on all platforms. Thank you so much for watching guys. Appreciate it. Catch you later. Cheers.